Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to uh, today's Ask Deb, our Facebook Live broadcast. It is uh, great to see you guys checking in from literally all over the world. Uh, I am here in Albuquerque, New Mexico today, and uh, we, as you can see, I'm about ready to start the Confidence Academy, so I've got people that will be popping in very, very quickly. But uh, let's talk about you, and let's talk about what we're going to be looking at today, which is why is it that when you love your products and you love your business and your company, why is it that recruiting can still be difficult for you? So again, I want to welcome all of you that are you that are coming in. Jill, it's good to see you. Uh, good to see you guys popping in. So grab something to write with. You may want to take a few notes today. We're going to have some fun. Uh, if you've never met me before, uh, hello, hello, guys. It's good to see you guys. If you've never met me before, my name is Deb Erickson, and I am the owner of I Can Institute. I'm actually a business mindset coach, and I work with women in the network marketing and direct selling industry, anyone uh, who is interested in selling. I work with them to help them increase their sales and gain more confidence and build an extraordinary team. And it's all based on the female mind. That's what really separates us and, and uh, makes us unique is that our focus is how does your brain work as a woman? So let's jump in. Um, I'd love to have you tag anybody in your organization <laughs> that is maybe struggling a little bit with recruiting or sponsoring, enrolling, whatever it is that uh, you guys are calling it. Um, make sure that they know about this because they're going to have some huge revelations today. So let's get started. Let's talk first about why you love sharing your products. So you love sharing your product because you love your product, right? And here's something about that. It is a real, tangible, physical product that gets tangible results. I mean, you wouldn't be selling it if you weren't madly in love with it. So you have a real product that gives people real results of one kind or another. And you have stories, you have testimonials, you have an internal level of confidence, right, about sharing those products because there's something tangible to sell. You guys get it? So when you share that, <laughs> good, good to see you, Rita. I'm glad you guys are outside the door. I'm sorry. So when you are sharing your product, you your confidence is high because of those tangible results. You guys get it? So let's take a really quick quiz. If you were going to rate your confidence in your product, I want you to give yourself a score from 1 to 10. Okay, 10 is high, 1 is low. How much do you believe in your product? Go ahead and, and post it below, right? 1 to 10, how much do you absolutely think your product rocks the world? Okay. Now, what I'm going to see is you guys are going to score tens, right? You're going to score nines and tens. You're going to be way up there because you love that product, right? Right, Carla, exactly, a 10. So now let's talk a minute about your company because if your product belief is a 10, which it should be, now, how do you feel about your company? Again, there's a tangible product that has a reputation. Exactly. Jill, Michelle, Jessica, you're all giving your product a 10. Wendy, <laughs> I love it. And, you know, you should because if you're not at a 10, you're not in love. So your company has a story, it has a vision, it has a mission, it has a reputation as well. And so my guess is, if I asked you to rate your company, let's do that, give your company a score on a score of one to 10. I bet you you're gonna do the same thing, you're gonna give nines and tens. Jill says 10 million, I love that. So what you're really telling me is, hey Deb, I am all in. And that's why you have great sales. That's why you are confident, right, about sharing. But now let's talk about the business. <laughs> and so what's really interesting is while your product is a physical product and while your company is a tangible story as along with the reputation that they have, when we start talking about the business, all of a sudden everything changes. Everything changes. We become smaller. We become a little more hesitant. And here's why. Because the business is an idea. 
You guys get it? What you're doing is you're selling a dream. You're saying you can have a new lifestyle. You can do things you never thought you could do. You could provide for your, uh, for your family in a different way. You could bring your husband. And so when we start talking about having people join us in the business opportunity, the energy shifts. And as the energy gets smaller and smaller, it gets harder to recruit because all of a sudden, we are typically not as good selling an idea as we are selling a tangible product. You guys get it? And I wanna tell you why. As women, we take personal responsibility for the people that we recruit. So when we're out there recruiting and we're saying to somebody, I can show you how to do this. I can help you build a business. I, I, I feel it. What's happened all of a sudden is I brought me into the topic. It's not the product or the company. Now it's me. I am going to show you. I am going to lead you. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to guide you. And so what happens in a woman's brain is she links up personal responsibility and we go into really bad roles and here's what I mean by that we go into mama role right where we start doing things for everyone or we go into rescue mode and rescue mode is that mode where we are literally helping to rescue people we are are uh, causing them actually to step into almost a victim mentality where we rush in and we help them or Many times we play friend mode. And I know that it's wonderful to have a team that you're, they're all your friends, but what you're not realizing is the minute you allow someone to go into friend mode with you, who's supposed to be a business partner, it changes in your brain, your personal responsibility. It elevates them to literally your inner circle. So I'm gonna give you a little insight. Your brain is wired so that you can only handle a very few intimate connections. Some people say it's less than five. So five people you let into your inner circle and your brain says, that's it, that's all I can handle. And then there's a second circle, right, that we can edge out. And basically that circle, your brain says 100, 150. If you are really an extrovert, maybe 250 is the maximum of people that you can let into a comfort zone that you would call them friends. Beyond that, your brain begins to shut down and begins to say to you, too much? There are too many people on my inner circle. And when those people step into my inner circle, my brain is literally saying, no more. So if you have a, a resistance to inviting people into the business. One of the issues could be that you are literally, number one, struggling to share an idea as opposed to a product. And number two, it could be that your brain is attaching personal responsibility. So when you bring someone in, your brain is saying, it's my job to help them. I will feel guilty if they don't succeed. I will feel like I'm lying. I feel like I'm not telling the truth. And what if I can't get them where they want to go? And if you're telling yourself those stories, here's what's happened is your brain has literally linked and attached the wrong role. That's it. See, the truth is powerful recruiters know this. They know that what they have to offer is priceless. They are offering an opportunity and with it, they are also offering the tools, the resources, the journey, the pathway, the knowledge, the skill, the intuition. They are offering all of those things that go along with it, but what they are not offering is a personal guarantee. You guys get it? See, what guys know in this industry is they know that they can offer the way. They can offer the system. They can offer the tools. And they can walk back, step back and go, <laughs> right? Not my responsibility. They don't take it personally. But women, we tend to take it all personally. We create the wrong roles. And therefore, our brain goes into massive overwhelm because what our brain is saying is, I can't take any more. I can't do any more. I can't handle any more relationships. So for fun, 
Let's do this. I want you to rate on a scale of one to 10. I want you to rate where you are in your confidence that you can recruit somebody into this business and release, right? Release the energy, release the responsibility, just release that personal guarantee. Can you invite someone into the business and say, I'm here and I will match your energy step for step. I'm here, I will give you my wisdom, I will give you my focus, I will give you my experience. I will teach you what those that have gone before me taught me. I will share with you the skill sets. And what you do with it is up to you. Can you do that? On a scale of one to 10. 10 is yes. <laughs> so what I'm seeing are a whole lot of fours and fives and six. Here's what it's telling me is that your brain has jumbled up the issue of self-responsibility. You're acting like a true mama. <laughs> You're acting like a woman who wants to nurture and wants to guarantee and, and wants to make sure that you see people be successful. And I love that about you. I love that about you. My heart goes out to you. But I'm gonna tell you this. If you stay in that energy, you will never build a dynasty. You guys get it? You'll never build that incredible dynasty that says, I can take this team to the top. And you know why? Because your brain will limit you. Your brain will say, enough. We have just enough people that I can mama these people across the finish line and that's all I can handle. And this industry is not about mothering anyone. It's not about creating best friends. It's about you getting the skill set that you need to be a business leader and a business coach. See, I want to give you the skill sets and the tools to do that. I want to help you realize that leadership is a skill. Coaching is a skill. Teaching is a skill. And so as you, as you are uh, using those skills, as you are using those skills, what you're doing is you are elevating, feel it, you are elevating the energy. And as you elevate the energy, guys, you will change everything. Got it? Thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to have to run because I'm going to be letting in right now everybody that is coming into Confidence Academy. We are going to elevate our confidence. We're going to elevate our skill and we are going to have a blast. So let them in, Tatiana. We are going to say hello to everybody coming in. It's exciting to see you guys. I hope that you join me next week on the next Ask Deb and uh, I'll see you then. Bring them in, guys. Come on in. Say hi to everybody. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Say hi to everybody on Facebook Live. Love to love you guys. See you soon. See you next week. Thanks for being here. Come say hi. <laughs> they're having fun and they're very excited. They're, they are going to absolutely blow their minds this weekend and uh, elevate their confidence. So thanks for being here. We'll see you soon.